Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Most people seem to focus on things in life, surface and shallow things like, you know, physical looks, the stereotypical cars, money, things, home, job, holidays, lots of money in the bank, and they all have a part. I, I accept them, I agree with them, but I also want to say really what's more important is emotions, such as connection to your true self. The honesty of that and that is like deeper things such as like feeling peace what good is it to be rich if you're sick and wanting to commit suicide having no peace of mind so peace love what good is it in life being wealthy but the greatest wealth is to have inner peace and to feel love and connection and the other two things and joy peace love and joy and happiness in your heart and a sense of connection and satisfaction and fulfillment in your work, your life, your service, your passions, your hobbies, your interests, having a happy, exciting life. What good is it to be having like cars, okay? If you're sick, you're like, if you're emotionally or mentally or physically crippled or disabled or disconnected, basically speaking. So I think it's what I, in this video, I want to remind you of is the importance of having satisfaction and fulfillment in your work and service to the, to the work and to your life, to the community and to other people, okay, and to the world. It's not good enough just to simply have an ordinary means of making money. We want to do something positive, we want to contribute. And another thing that's also very important is to have a sense of having someone who's a dependent on us, or such as a child, or it could be a pet, or it could be someone you're working with, like or looking after, or serve providing a service or a product for a sense that gives you satisfaction and fulfillment and to feel peace you have to learn to say no you have to let go of fear of other people's opinions and what they think about you and the fear of the future and the fear of uncertainty and the fear of change and the fear of not knowing what's going to happen a fear of not knowing basically speaking we have to have more and to, to let go of that fear you have to have more trust in spiritual spirituality and divine timing and perfection and being looked after and everything's going to be okay and and to help you in this is to have confidence that you can manage things and that you will be okay because you have the power and ability and the clarity to look after yourself when things happen and go wrong or like go wrong you know change and, we lose things or things break down or things fall through and things are cancelled and all our plans change. We have to be willing to let go of attachment to our plans. It's all about fear and attachments. Base is hugely about them anyway, not all about them. You want to like let go of fear and attachments. So let go of your attachment to a specific idea. Like in the last month, my plans have changed extensively. I was planning on like like staying in Ireland with my partner and then then we changed that we we're, were, <laughs> were going to get married in Ireland and we changed that so then we're not, not going to get married anymore then then we then, we, then we, we went to Canada to get her stuff and then in the end we didn't we, got, we then then we decided not to live in Ireland anymore we stayed in Canada and we we planned to go to Canada for one month but we ended up staying for like almost six months like five months okay and then then we were thinking about then we were thinking of um, going to a healing center to stay in Pai or in the south, Nakhon Tamarat, and then we end up staying in Chiang Mai for a little while. And now, instead of going to Pai to the healing center, we're going to go then next to Nakhon Tamarat. Um, I was supposed to be living with another person while Azumi was staying in Canada, and like then she ended up coming with me on the very last day before my on the day of my my bus to leave where we were staying. She decided to come with me. So whew, booking new flights, new buses to come, and then not like everything's just changing and the person is supposed to be meeting it was like everything's changing with her too beautiful lady so then we we eventually met and so basically speaking life is constant change everybody and we must focus on boundaries and peace of mind peace love joy and happiness don't don't get don't um, get lost in the physical things to the neglect of the spiritual but bring the spiritual into the physical that's what i say Live a physical life, but from a spiritual, coming from the spiritual. So live physically from the spiritual. You don't need to be a monk. You don't need to don't need to meditate ten hours a day or even anything. I don't even do any meditation. 
you just need to have clarity and empowerment and awareness and that's what I do I do clarity empowerment and awareness teaching uh, coaching and healing okay so if anyone wants to befriend me on Facebook learn more about me the links are below you can see my web pages you can book a coaching session highly recommend it I'm switching to a 45 minute session instead of an hour because go through things pretty quickly and 45 minutes is more than enough um, do discounts if you want to book two or three instead of just one and I'd love to work with you I'd love to befriend you on Facebook if you're going to be positive and support my life and I'll support you work together as a team or just to share happiness and enjoyment and inspiration so also my Higher Self Herbs web shop you can see my Higher Self Herbs Facebook page below and my web, my web store that sells superfoods, enzymes, herbs and essential oils so please have a look below everybody I appreciate your watching the video and I wish you a lovely day Thanks for joining me today in Thailand, Chiang Mai and subscribe to stay tuned to my journey in, the, in life and in Chiang Mai and until then, have a beautiful day everyone say hello, much love, thank you for watching and enjoy your day peace, love, joy, happiness, connection, satisfaction, fulfillment, truth authenticity, being genuine, real with your emotions, with everything. Be the real you. Don't try and copy anybody else. Just be the real you. Learn from others, yeah. But don't try and be an imitation of anybody. And follow your passion and excitement with integrity. See ya. Blessings abundant.